subjects, okay, leadership, strength. Today we're talking about commitment. commitment, okay? So, we've talked a lot about commitment this summer because that's the tenet that we're talking about in classes right now, okay? So, listening close, quick story, then we're going to divide up into groups and your group is going to make up a story based on this story, okay? And so, the story is about a guy who wanted to build houses and all he wanted to do was build houses, okay? And so, he went to work for somebody that... Houses. Built houses, okay? And this guy was terrible. His name was? Terrible? Her terrible, no. His name was? Harry. Harry, that'll work. All right, so Harry was terrible at, at building houses. All right, but this guy who hired him, you know, he really wanted to do a good job, so he started kind of showing him what to work on and showing him what to work on. And, and But Harry, still, every time he would do, a, like, build a wall or put a floor down, it just wasn't good, okay? And he, he was like, he really wanted to build houses, so he kept on working at it. Every time it got better, but it still wasn't great, okay? And so, but he, in his heart, he just knew he was supposed to build houses, okay? So he, he kept on building, all right? Well, the guy that he was working for eventually, because he just wasn't doing a good job at all, even though he wanted to do a good job, the guy fired him. Isn't that awesome? No, that's terrible. So, Harry, though, he kept on working on it. In fact, he worked on it in his own house, and he worked on it and just kind of built houses uh, for, for people who needed houses, like, you know, Habitat for Humanity. Those guys build houses for people. He went and built houses, all right, and, and like 20 years later, the guy who fired him, uh, he went out and he built this, you know, he bought this awesome house, and he bought the house, and he was really excited about his new house, and then he found out that guess who built that house? Harry. Harry built the house. And he looked around the house and he said, there's no way Harry built this house. Because look at it. I mean, that wall's perfect. The floors are perfect. Everything in here is just perfect. All right. But over those years, what did Harry do? He worked on it. And he worked on it. And he worked on it. And he worked on it. And, and even though he wasn't good then, he didn't give up on himself. What did he do? Yeah, he just he kept on trying. And maybe he just, he, he looked at it and said, man, that's not good, but I need to fix it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to divide up into your groups. And what your group is going to do even if you're not in Taekwondo, you're still going to think about it from a martial arts standpoint of, you know, what happens when maybe you're not good at one area, or maybe all of Taekwondo, I don't know. But maybe you're not good at it, maybe there's a student, so you can come up with a, a pretend name or whatever, and you're going to tell a story about a guy that wasn't very good. Now, in our Taekwondo class, if someone's not good, I don't kick them out, I don't fire you if you're not great at Taekwondo. So, what you're going to come up with is just a story in your group. We only have a few minutes, so make sure you respect each other and let each other help tell the story. But you're going to make up a story about something having to do with that. Go for it. This is this. Mm. Susie was very clumsy. She she said to make her un her unclumsy. She signed up for Arsenal. Arsenal. For martial arts. There you go. And she she tried her best, and she saw a man that he he was very good at at taekwondo, and he he um, every after every class she got better and better. And every after class, she worked with the instructor that helped her ever, ever, always after class. The end. Awesome. Good job. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Robert, and he struggled in competitions. He always gets spirit awards in forms and sparring. He decided one day to try harder. He kept getting better because of his daily practice, and since he stuck with it for a long time, he got first in all the competitions, including forms, sparring, extreme, traditional, weapons, and if possible, more. He became amazing, and other people admire him, and he and started Taekwondo. Awesome. Good job. Yeah. There once was a boy named Matt. One day, Matt tried out for a Taekwondo demo, but he just couldn't break a board, so he failed. But he never gave up, and a few years later, he went to a tournament and smashed through all of his boards with the coolest moves. Everyone there was so amazed with the great commitment he showed. Awesome. Good job.